Hi, it's Matt from Go Green Autos. So here we have a Smart 4.4 electric car for sale. It's the first time I've got one of these um, 4.4s in. I've had plenty of the 4.2s in, but the 4.4 is one of those electric cars which has sort of gone under the radar. But actually, it's a good alternative to a Renault Zoe. In fact, these cars share a lot of components with Renaults. It is built on a shared platform with Renault. The same platform is used on the Renault Twingo. It's got a lot of Renault switch gear inside. In fact, the multimedia system and things is straight out of a Zoe as well. And it's made in a factory in Slovenia. The charging system is very similar as well to a Zoe. This one has got the upgraded 22 kilowatt charger. So charging is AC only, just like a Zoe and it charges at a rate of 21 miles per hour if you're using a 7 kilowatt home or public charging post or if you're lucky enough to find a 22 kilowatt three-phase AC charger it's going to charge at a rate of 65 miles per hour. These have a 17.6 kilowatt hour lithium-ion pack which is rather small compared to modern electric vehicles but it is intended to be a city run-around car or a local uh, car you're just going to um, go to the shops and drop the kids off and all that sort of driving that we all do where uh, range just isn't an issue. Um, so the official figures on this are 93 to 96 miles but in real world driving they are around the 70 to 80 mile range um, maybe down to 50 at worst in the winter if it's very cold and you're using the heating all the time. Um, but as I said, uh, it's, a, it's intended to be a, a runaround car and most of us do 30 to 40 miles a day. The average is 12,000 miles a year and I think if you do work that out daily it's something like 30 to 35 miles a day anyway. So this will do majority of your uh, driving without any problem at all. And these really work if you can plug in at home, if you've got a driveway and you can just charge every night. Uh, and then, of course, you won't ever be using public charging because it will do 99% of all your driving. All details on the uh, range and the charging are all on the website, so do have a look at that. You may not know what these uh, Smart 4.4s are because there aren't many around and uh, they've sort of gone under the radar a little bit. So they are a five-door, four-seater hatchback. Um, most people would think a smart car as the uh, two-seater um, 4.2. And as I said, these aren't really known about very much, but they are a far more practical car. In the back here, you have got two seats. Uh, it is a little bit small, but it is a smaller car than a Zoe, um, but ideal for children. And because it's only two seats, you do have that console in the middle. So if adults are sitting here, it doesn't feel too cramped because you've got that shoulder room in the middle. And then this bit is a cup holder, storage compartment, and you can remove that as well. That gives you another cup holder. You've actually got another cup holder there as well. Um, these seats also lift up and fold flat and you can whip that out as well. And you've got a huge area there if you need to store things. And the rear seats also drop down, which is swap hands like that. You have to keep the base seat up because the back does step up because these are rear wheel drive as well so the electric motor and the drivetrain is here on the back axle under the boot but that's flat then with the boot and actually gives you quite a bit of space and then if we look in the boot here it's a smaller boot than you have in a Zoe but of course it's a smaller car than a Zoe but it's big enough to put uh, some shopping bags in and uh, we've got here the charge cables so that's a um, three-phase charge cable which will allow you to charge at um, 22 kilowatt if you're plugged into the appropriate public charger. Of course at home you're only going to charge at 7 kilowatt anyway because it's single phase AC. And in here is a portable charger, often called a granny cable, which will allow you to charge the car on a normal 3-pin plug. This is a 10 metre version which is far more practical than standard 5, so uh, sockets are never right next to the car. You might have to go to the back of the garage for a socket or through the kitchen window or around the corner, around the path at the side of the house to find an external socket. And of course a 10 metre cable is uh, likely to reach, whereas a standard one wouldn't. Uh, locking wheel nut key in there. Um, this bag is quite nice as well, the smart bag. It's pinned at the top, fixed to the sides, and it's not zipped, it's open, which allows you to get the cable in and out very nicely, but it keeps it pulled up at the side 
um, so you're not using up floor space and that cable will fit in there as well but in reality you would probably just keep that cable in the car most of the time anyway and this car is the prime model they all come with uh, a man-made leather effect seating so it feels very premium very nice uh, feel to it all it does feel quite high quality particularly compared to a Zoe uh, you've got heated seats in the front as standard but this car's actually got the winter pack fitted and what that gives you is heated seats in the rear as well and your switch is there in the door it also gives you a heated steering wheel. This section from there round to there is heated, but of course that's where you put your hands. Uh, the steering wheel's leather and very chunky. It's got a very nice feel. And also in that winter pack, you get additional insulation in the car, which helps to retain that heat in the winter. This car has also got a full glass panoramic roof. And if we look in the inside, we can see we've got the section there and the section and on both sides. Back we've got sliding blinds as well panoramic roof really does make it feel more spacious inside and it's actually a really nice place to be so in the inside we've got a uh, fabric on the uh, dash and on the door cards very nice um, air vents the rest of it's Renault switch gear uh, the multimedia system is exactly what you would find in a Zoe actually let's just start it up um, typical uh, smart and also mini have the sort of very retro dials. This is your um, power meter and your uh, battery gauge, i.e. your fuel tank. And then as we can see here, the infotainment system is uh, exactly like a Zoe, just with different graphics. So we've got uh, DAB radio, we've got sat nav, we've got uh, Bluetooth obviously, music streaming, we've got our energy flow so we can see the energy coming in and out of the battery and showing you the regen. We've got an eco score which um, helps you to drive more efficiently and uh, lots of stuff on here but the key thing is this has also got Android Auto. On the centre console here we can adjust the display using the buttons here on the steering wheel and we've got here the mileage this car has only done 2309 miles we can then toggle that round to a digital display of course this is also our speed across the top the old analog one anyway we've got here settings i'll quickly show you what we've got in the settings we've got display radar assist recuperation this does have a radar at the front of the car and that's going to um, assist you with automatic regen uh, active brake has got emergency braking, tyre pressure, language. Uh, let me go back. We can then carry on through. The next surface is in 12,500 miles. There's our battery, 86%. We have also got uh, preconditioning. You can see there we've got two times. Let's go back. And then we've got uh, energy flow. We can see... Um, the energy flow in and out the battery and we can see how much the heating is using how much electricity you're using we've got a usage graph there showing our energy usage we've got our eco score which is very much uh, replicated what you've got on the screen there and then we've got our trip computers um, so yeah very simple car to use we've also got uh, cruise control and speed limiter buttons there to control it we've got audio and telephone buttons there and um yeah, feels really nice. Big leather, chunky steering wheel, feels very sporty. The whole cabin actually does feel far more premium and a nicer place to be than a Zoe. I'm going to keep comparing it to a Zoe because it is a very similar car. Um, while you do have um, sort of hard, cheap plastics, a lot of modern cars do, but the rest of it is all sort of fabric um, uh, covered. But because you've got this leather effect seating, they are very nice seats and of course they're all heated, heated steering wheel, quite a hard, firm, sporty ride. It just is a very nice place to be, particularly with this panoramic roof as well. So under here, under the number plate, is that radar and that's uh, used for the emergency uh, braking system, but also that uh, automatic recuperation system. However, I prefer just to put it in eco mode there and that turns off the automatic system and just keeps it at maximum regen the regen is still quite light on these but i prefer just to have all the regen i can rather than letting the car decide when to apply it 
So the primary purpose of this video is to show you the condition and if you see my videos before you'll know I point out every little stone chip mark or scratch I can find and then that gives people the confidence to buy the vehicle from afar without coming to view it first. But of course we're in lockdown now so you can't come and view vehicles anyway so hopefully this video will help. And then I can get the vehicle delivered anywhere in the country and it will come to you on a flatbed or a trailer. But as I said, this car's only done 2,000 miles. It is in stunning condition, it's absolutely immaculate and there's very little to show you. I'm gonna be really picky and point out a couple of little things. Uh, I have taken pictures of everything, so you can go on the website and look at the photo gallery and everything I'm gonna point out to you, I've taken a photo of and you can zoom in on the picture and have a really good look in detail. But everything is really minor. It is a stunning looking car. It's in this uh, metallic silver, that's a paint upgrade. And as you probably know, all the smart cars tend to be two color, but this is uh, painted all one color, so it just looks a little bit nicer. Um, we've got diamond cut alloy wheels. The alloy wheels are all immaculate, no curbing at all, which is quite surprising. Um, it's a dull old morning this morning, so it's not shining, but very nice metallic paint. Um, I'm gonna be super critical um, and show you a little scratch there which is so small the camera's probably not going to pick it up but you can feel it with your nail it's about four millimeters long but really insignificant don't think anyone would worry about that looking down the side there's not a single scratch stone chip or mark to point out the wheels are really nice condition as i said there isn't even any scratching along here at the top of the bumper where stuff gets loaded in and uh, you've seen on the inside but as you can see that boot carpet is all still looking like new uh, we've got parking sensors on the back um, looking around here again I'm being too critical but I will show you anyway it's a little mark there on that spoke um, there but really insignificant that might even rub off with a bit of tea cut uh, looking down here there's nothing to point out at all down here it's all immaculate uh, the only other things I'm going to show you are down on the front and there is a tiny little scratch here on the front uh, bumper that wouldn't polish out it's about an inch long uh, but this is all plastic anyway so it's not going to rust or anything but it's too minor to even attempt to put a bit of silver paint in and again there's a couple on the bonnet but this bonnet's plastic as well there's two there and then one's one there and one there very light but they're all too fine to even attempt to run any touch-up stick in uh, and I said, I said it's plastic anyway, it's just very fine little marks. But for anything from a foot away, you don't even Tire tread see depth's all on the website. Uh, it's only done 2,000 miles, so the tyres are still in great condition. Uh, this is a rear wheel drive car, so it will wear out the rear tyres quicker than the front tyres. Looking on the inside, there's nothing to show you really. It's just all in really nice condition. It's only done 2,000 miles, obviously, so you wouldn't expect any wear and tear yet. But you can see here the seats all still looking like new. Um, it will have a set of carpet mats. I'm waiting for them to arrive, hence why I've just got my bit of paper there to keep the dirt off the carpet um, if I'm being super critical there's a couple of very minor little marks on this grab handle and that's simply because probably uh, someone's ring has just been marking that um, but the rest of it's all just pristine and um, obviously everything works without any fault the other thing I'll point out again which is incredibly minor but I don't hide anything as I said um, this uh, bolt head which um, holds the window mechanism it had been scratched in three places and uh, the black paint had come off so I have dabbed a bit of um, black satin touch-up paint so yes hardly noticeable um, has obviously been rubbed on something but very very minor as I said so this car has just turned two years old a few days ago um, so it's obviously got the remainder of the manufacturer's warranty on these you get an eight year warranty on the battery pack from new and you also get three years roadside assistance so we've got 12 months of that left on the car as well uh, so this car's ready to go so if you're interested give me a call or email and as i said i can deliver these anywhere in the country and it will come to you on a flatbed or a trailer and it will be fully charged and ready to use